Hello and welcome back to our 78 Corolla modernization project, a project we're calling Kyrolla. If you've been following the series, you know we got the car fired up on its original running gear. Yeah. Not great, Kai. We tackled some clearance issues fitting our pace setter header. And we got our O2 sensor securely mounted in the exhaust. The Helga Pataki. Really looks nice in there. Like, uh, almost like we knew it exactly what we were doing. In addition to that, we also had deleted some antiquated emissions equipment. Antiquated emissions equipment. Okay. Oh, that's equipment. Yeah. <laughs> Secondary air injection. Better access to your starter motor, you know. And a concave mirror. And a concave mirror. Just kidding. And Kai added a mirror. Broadway. 270 millimeter. In this video, we're going to be tackling the throttle body and the intake. So let's get started. As you already know, our plan is to make this Corolla a reliable daily driver by installing electronic fuel injection. And the fuel injection system we're going with is the Holley Sniper 2300 Master Fuel Injection Kit. Now there are a few reasons we're going with the Sniper instead of a Mega Squirt or any other injection system. The first is, all the sensors and controls are contained inside the throttle body. So there's no external MAP sensor to hook up or no fuel pressure regulator we have to source. The next benefit of the Sniper is ease of installation. You literally just bolt this in place of your carburetor hook up four wires, plug in an O2 sensor, and hit the bricks. The last, and perhaps my favorite feature of the Sniper EFI, is you get a number of inputs and outputs. These outputs can be used to control accessories like electric cooling fans, which we're gonna install because it's Texas, and inputs like whether or not the AC compressor is running or any other accessory you wanna to add to this car. The only challenge we really came across was we needed a way to bolt this classic Holley two-barrel flange that's on the bottom of the Sniper EFI to our 2TC engine. So we called up BRD Racing, which is a shop that specializes in 2TC and 3TC engines, and let them know what we were doing. And what we ended up with was their 3TC intake with a special two-barrel Holley flange adapter. And this thing is beautiful. I mean, polished up really good. And they even set it down on a milling machine and matched the port. And this is the final piece we need to mount our sniper to the Corolla. Perfect. Basically what we're doing now is just draining the engine a little bit because the manifold is full of coolant. And uh, really? so, yeah, so when we drop the manifold, it's going to be cool everywhere. It just hang, hangs up to me. You know. I'll catch them. You got it? Yep. No, you got it. Just try to get these nuts. These nuts. Look at you. Three YouTube videos ago. Oh, I really hate it. You said something like. Parasite. <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? So say something you need to show it. Oh. Oh. Only get one shot. All right, it's out. I was right on just like a Toyota part should. Put a nut on there to hold it up. And 
our new Holly Sniper fuel injection. It's gonna sit on there just like this. Looks beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Looks like our fuel lines are gonna run nice and clear. We might need to put this off at a 45 and the wires are gonna be running back. The fuel lines come up on this side of the chassis so that's all real nice. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna work really great. Throttle body, throttle used to be here, right? Yeah. Hmm. So we, right now we turn around like this. Or do you well, wanna want to do with this? No, I think, go back the first way and then move it to this hole. Cause then it's really close to the throttle. Oh. And we're really close in on there. About the same distance it was from the other carburetor. I think we'll make a plate right. that bolts here and here, here and, then and then it stabilizes one, that yeah, part. Yeah, this one bolts here, bolts here. Yeah, that way we can use the same throttle cable bracket that mm -hmm. came on the car. Cause you know what, I like using original parts. We might need to trim this one down. Yeah, we'll probably right. cut yeah. that piece off. Well, you, you don't have to come in. It might be a little dangerous for more than one person at a time. I think that's exactly what we need right there. Hmm, that might be a challenge. Because it has this little dimple on the, on the bottom side. And so we might have to like use a standoff or something because otherwise we're going to have a lot of distance between the steel and the, and the plate. See that? Maybe we can just auger that out. I don't know. Let me cut a piece off and we'll see where we're at. Basically, we need to figure out how to mark these two holes onto this plate so we can drill it out. And the best way I found to do that is with a little bit of axle grease. So you take your little axle grease on your finger, you smear it on this hole, we'll take and put our little plate down on it, and we have a little template of where we need to drill our holes. What's really nice about that grease test is it leaves you a little hole and you can see what kind of drill bit you're going to need to match up on there. I'll just center punch that. And we'll drill them out. And get this thing lined up is usually the hardest part. <laughs> like a ride at the fair. You want to do this one, Kai? Yeah, sure. Look at that, beauty. So I think that we'll reuse this bolt hole, but now I need to clearance this out, make a little art project out of it. Make my little mark. I'll make that cut to clear this drop out, weld the new piece in, Bob's your uncle. Bob, your uncle. Like that? That's jazz. Freehand. I was wondering how you do that in, in there. Now we'll see how that fits on the car. Do, 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 Oh, beauty.
Look at that. Like it was meant to be there. And this little piece, this little gem, is a little too fat, but it'll slip right down in there. Give us a nice little mounting surface, and then we can shape it how we want. Let me mark that really quick. Perfect. Now we'll trim that down and weld it in place. And this will go in just like that. Looks like a daggum factory part, Kai. Look at that. That's factory. Daggum. Alright, so let's hand punch that hole. All right, so this is a, uh, it's a pretty ugly piece. So uh, I think I might just kind of design something to make it look a little more um, organic and finished. Kind of like a fidget spinner, I guess. It's like a part you would buy, right? Looks nice. All right, so we got our new bracket and we'll see if it fits on the intake. Ooh, not the most friendly thing to install. And Solid as a rock. Just go in there. You know, we ought to find some some bolts or some studs to drop into this so we can really get a good representation. But man, that just looks so perfect, doesn't it? So the last thing we need to do is we need to figure out a way to uh, catch this barrel end throttle cable. This is meant for like the old American horn style throttle cables. So we need a catchment for this barrel. And we might just pull that off one of your old carburetors and uh, see where it takes us. But it just looks beautiful on there. Here's your throttle cable catchment off the other carburetor. Mm-hmm. Right, and it fits nicely. Well, That's it should fit nicely in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll get that squared later. Anyway, so I think what you were saying is just bolt it right there, right? Yep. Oh man, that's beauty. And then we don't have to make this pain in the butt part. Mm-hmm. All right. One more snug should do it. Okay, go in there and hit the throttle. This is completely out? Yep. Yeah! Yeah! Let it go! Oh yeah! Hold on a second, let me adjust it. Okay, wiggle the throttle and make sure we have slack. Oh, perfect. Okay, now give me a full wide open pull. Oh man, it doesn't get better than that, Kai. <laughs> I think we might just bend this flange down a little bit so it's not rubbing on the cable, but holy cow, I think that's just the ticket. Well, at the end of the day, we made some pretty good progress on the Cairola. We got our new intake mounted, we got our throttle body mounted on the intake, and we got a pretty clever solution for our throttle cable. In the next video, we're going to tie our header into the factory exhaust, weld up our secondary air injection plugs, and I think we'll rig up the EFI for a cursory test. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. 
And if you want to receive updates on Project Kyrola, hit that notification bell. <laughs>